Welcome back to another Nate and Tech vlog. This is vlog number 22. Uh, main thing today we're going to be talking about is the CRX uh, dash, uh, the radio bezel that I've been working on. Uh, this is the main prototype that everybody has seen uh, online, Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. So this is a doubled in uh, CRX radio bezel. These go for almost $400 for the you know the JDM ones on on eBay. My goal is to keep these right around the $60 to $70 range uh, for you guys because you know nobody's rich around here. So this is a direct bolt-in piece. It bolts in with the four screws into the metal bracket behind the CRX uh, center console. I, I can do pretty much any combination of things that you want. Uh, I did have a test piece here. So this one, I think I showed you guys this one. This is a single DIN with uh, three 52 millimeter gauge pods in it. And I started working on the cup holder. Uh, this is actually nowhere near what it's going to look like. This is one of my, actually my first revision. I do have it done though. And that's the exciting part. I finally got it to work how I want. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, so this is pretty close to the final prototype. I got a couple more little tweaks. A couple things are like a millimeter off and whatnot, but that's little things. So this, it's a two piece cup holder and it sits, let's see if I can get this. Anyway, right here at the bottom, you can see this curve, this curve right here is the same as, you know, this curve right here. So it sits at the very, very bottom, as low as I could get it. Um, I tried to get it lower, but it hit on this, this lip right around here. So I've raised it up just enough to where it clears that lip where I can still get it as wide as I want. I actually have this guy with two full-size cup holders. So you can put two um, like large, extra large fountain drinks in this guy. And still have and they will fit um, you can also get cans so like here's your this cup you know fits in there just fine on both of them as well as your normal apparently this group here still has you know, your normal cans will fit in there as well and this does support my insert so if you guys drink red bull i've got a red bull insert that will work with this now the cool thing about this one is this radio bezel actually sits back at an angle about like this. So this actually sits flat, but when you're not using it, it lifts up. And I've got a couple screws in it that are just a hair longer than what I need. It sits flush. It does have a little bit of a lip at the bottom, um, which it will have so you can actually grab it and pull it out. But the way that I could get it so that the radio, the radio pieces, if I went straight back with it, it would come out here and it would actually hit the bottom of your radio, the doubled in piece, any that kind of stuff. So I actually had it had to have it actually go down at an angle so that it matched uh, the radio, the angles of the the radios. I'm gonna move my camera down here just a bit so you guys can kind of see how this this looks here. So it's going to sit in here just like so. You can see that very well or not. I didn't want to print a whole piece because um, these take, the big piece takes about 30 hours to print. So, but what I would do, those screws are a bit tight. So this front piece actually has to be uh, screwed in. There will be four screws along the bottom to either screw in. I might glue it, but uh, if you ever have to pull this piece out, since it's got a lip here on the bottom to stop it, you can see that lip right here, uh, so it doesn't go back too far. And then I also have stoppers so when it comes out, it stops and doesn't doesn't move. So it kind of has a stop both ways, so it has to actually be put together as two pieces. So it's going to sit here like this. You're going to pull it out, and then it'll drop down. This thing wants to move on me and sit flat just like that. Let's see if I can get it over. So 
So that's about how the cups will sit. Should not interfere with the shifter at all. I've pretty much got them as flat as, or um, level as possible. So that once this is bolted in, it's all level. And then you just lift it up and then push it back in when you want it out of your way. And then this will, this little Nate and Tech logo with the, the front of the thing will flush in. It's a little tight just because I've got this a couple screws that I just had sitting around and they're just a hair longer than the 11 millimeters that of the thickness of this. So that's an update on those. Um, I'm actually going to be making a couple tweaks. Let me fix this camera again. So I got a couple more tweaks to make. Those are probably going to go up for pre-order this next week. As soon as I get a couple ones done and figure out how long it's going to take to print everything. Uh, once I have those times, then I can put them up for sale because I'll know exactly what they're going to cost. My estimated is, like I said, around $60 to $70 for them. Um, I could also do custom ones. So I have one that can do like six gauge, gauge pods. I've got one without a cup holder that a guy requested. I'm actually going to start printing this weekend. That is two single dins and then a half din for like equalizer or whatnot at the bottom. And I got it all to fit in that, you know, in this, this front face area from here to here. I got two single dins and then a half din right down here. He has no room for anything else. There's going to be no um, 12 volt charger or you know, USB charger or anything like that. It's just going to be the three pieces. I'm going to try to make uh, the, the USB, the, the USB charger that I'm using on my other, uh, the factory ones, I think it's going to be too big around. It's almost 38, 38 millimeters around. So I'm going to try to track down another one that might give us a little more flexibility to work with the cup holders. The cup holders are going to be pretty standard. Um, you will be able to get them with or without the cup holders. So you guys will have that choice. But if you have them with it, it, it limits how much room we have for the cigarette lighter uh, or, or the USB charging port. Uh, depending on which one you want to go with, but so a couple little things I'm still going to try to figure out, see if we have any other options for those. But you can always, you know, mount your, uh, you know, I, the, that USB charger you can mount just about anywhere. You could actually, I mean, if you wanted, you could even punch a hole right in here and punch it straight through, um, or even back in here if you wanted and you'd still be able to use it, but then you would still have your cup holders, which everybody knows the CRXs have even less room than the normal Civics do. So I've been tirelessly trying to get some of my designs done for you guys. Um, I did pick up a set of wagon rear speaker pods. So I'm gonna try to, I mainly wanted just to see how these worked, how they mounted, things like that. Uh, I am probably going to come up with a partially my own design, mainly because I need something that's going to work with the 3D printers, the way that it prints. So those should be coming out soon. I'm going to try to get the hatch and the wagon. I don't remember if the CRX had them. I don't think they did. Um, but you know, if it's something you guys are wanting, definitely let me know in the comments below so that we can get something going. But the CRX piece is the main thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. If you guys have any special requests, you need something other than, you know, a radio or gauges or whatnot, I'm going to put a few basic ones together that you can order, and then we can also do custom stuff as well. Now that I have the blank, which is basically this piece, but with no holes in it, with or without the cup holder, uh, I can pretty much punch in whatever size, you know, if you guys want an iPad or some type of a, a screen in this, we can work on that kind of stuff as well. So don't feel like what's on the website is all that I make. We can do custom stuff as well. If you want anything in here, just hit me up in the links, you know, down below, email natentech at gmail.com. I'm on Facebook on the Nate and Tech group. You can message me there uh, or on Instagram, uh, just at Nate and Tech. So I think I'm gonna call it there. Uh, I got a few more things coming up. I have got my B16 that I'm working on, putting in my Civic. So that's going to be a little bit of a project stuff going. Uh, that's getting spread out a little bit further. The way that I want to do the turbo and a couple things that I have to get done on the B16. 
kind of ate up a little bit more of my budget than I originally planned. So I'm gonna do it in two stages. I'm gonna get the B16 in, I gotta do the steering rack. I'm gonna to swap to a manual steering rack because I don't wanna fight power steering with the B-Series. Uh, I'm going to try to leave the air conditioning in there. That's gonna be the biggest, I think, hurdle out of the whole project. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get the B16 in there. I'm gonna get the base tune done on it. Things like that, get everything driving really good. Uh, make sure VTEC's working and you know all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, possibly even get a little bit of more suspension work done so that when I do actually have turbo, it, the car's actually driving correctly. Uh, then I'm gonna have, I've got a guy here in town that can make me a custom turbo manifold and downpipe and gonna weld all my intercooler piping together so it's down to basically one piece on the, the cold side, or sorry, one piece off the turbo to the intercooler and then another single piece from the intercooler all the way up to the throttle body. So I pretty much are going to have four couplers total for the whole system, hopefully. So stay tuned, I got a lot more stuff coming up. Uh, now that Christmas is over, we're gonna start getting into a little more project stuff. I did open up my new shop. Uh, we opened Monday, kind of slow getting going, which is kind of what we wanted. We don't want to just get slammed right off the bat. So you guys will probably be getting to know James here soon. He's gonna be getting into some of the the vlogs and whatnot that we are going to start doing at the shop once we get everything kind of finalized over there. Uh, we've got a couple cars in there, but we still got some organizing and setting stuff up and whatnot. So uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you know anytime I put out a new video. I do have a couple uh, electronics reviews that I'm going to be doing here soon as well that I've been working on. I got a wireless mic set up, uh, which will be nice for when we're in the shop and we're moving around a little bit more. So we're not using the mic that's right here because uh, the further away I get, this gets quieter. Uh, so I got a wireless mic set up. I got a couple uh, USB power banks that I've been testing out and working on uh, and using and whatnot kind of, so I can get you, know, got you guys some reviews on those. So definitely stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.